Synology DSM 7.1.1 was recently released, and after the update, viewing bad sectors on your hard drives will be a little more difficult, as the bad sector column will no longer be displayed next to the hard drive information. This is pretty important because bad sectors indicate that a hard drive is failing or is starting to fail. On a personal level, anytime a hard drive has a bad sector, I replace it. Mostly because it indicates that the physical hard drive has an issue and I don't want to be waiting around for that issue to be a total drive failure. Now that's not to say that everyone does that and this video isn't here to say that you should do that. However, we're going to look at how to set up smart tests on your hard drives so that they're performed regularly. Then we're going to look at notifications to ensure that you're notified if any of your hard drives do have bad sectors. This will basically ensure that you never have to look at the bad sector count and if it does increase for any reason, you're going to be notified right away. Now, if you open up the storage manager and you select HDD slash SSD, you're going to see inside of the test scheduler that an auto smart test runs. And what this does is it's a quick test that will automatically scan your hard drives on a weekly basis. This is created by default, and this is something that everybody should have enabled already but you can also run extended tests. Now extended tests will take a lot longer than a regular quick test takes, and it doesn't have to be performed as frequently as the quick tests are, but I have my system set up so that on a quarterly basis, an extended test is run on each of the hard drives. It's actually running right now. An extended test is exactly what the name implies. So it will check every sector on the hard drive and it will ensure that it doesn't have any issues. If it does have any issues, it's going to notify you, which is the next step that we're going to look into. Before we get to that, I do want to point out that everybody feels differently about this. So technically, smart tests, especially extended tests, will very slightly wear out a hard drive. Now to me, the benefit outweighs the risk, meaning that I run them on a quarterly basis and I'm not too worried about the overall wear that the hard drive receives because the information that I'm getting from it is significantly more important to me. However, for that reason, people might choose to run it either, you know, biannually or even annually. I prefer to run it quarterly, but I do want to point out that you can run it as often or as little as you'd like. So now at this point, you should have quick tests and extended tests scheduled. And what we're going to do is look at the notifications. So I have a video on how you can set up notifications. I'll leave a pop up for that now, and I'll leave a link in the description for the article that I have on that. However, you want to go into the rules and you want to check underneath the internal storage section that you're being notified when the number of bad sectors increases. That's important because if you're at zero today and the scan runs tomorrow and it goes to even one, you're going to be notified of it. Now, what you intend on doing with a hard drive that has bad sectors is kind of up to you. I mentioned earlier that personally, I replace it. That doesn't mean that you have to. And I know for a fact that there are people out there that have hard drives with a ton of bad sectors that have been running for years. Now, that's not to say that in a RAID array, that's a good idea. And I'm being clear that whenever I see that, I replace the drive. But it is up to you. The important part is that you're notified of it, so you're at least aware of it. So I'm hoping that this video helped you guys out. If it did, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. And if you like this type of content, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks, guys.